Welcome to the Motley Fool's Crunch Time series, where we scout out a single company from their story to their opportunities and risks. Today, I'm gonna be covering General Motors. Yes, that General Motors. And I'm gonna start with my prediction. I think GM stock is going to beat the market over the next five years, and I don't think it's gonna be close. Just for context here, GM stock is up 95% over the past year, so may not be the company that you thought it was. But let's get started with the business strategy. GM is first and foremost an automaker. It specializes in trucks and SUVs. Here's some crazy stats. 44% of full-size trucks sold in the US are GM trucks, and 64% of large SUVs are from GM. This is where the money is made in the auto industry. And the company is making a transition to electric vehicles. It's now the number two EV maker in the US and it is growing 32,000 electric vehicles sold in the third quarter. And that number is gonna increase in not only Q4, but also in 2025. And let's not forget about Cruise. That's the company's autonomous driving division. Also has Super Cruise, which is a level two autonomy system that you can get in some of their newer vehicles. And those products right there are really where the growth opportunity is for GM. Electric vehicles allows GM to gain a little bit more market share in some of those smaller vehicles and also on the coast. Most of their money is made in kind of the middle of the country. So EVs gives them an opportunity to expand in areas where they don't currently have a big market share. Super Cruise is another way GM may be able to get into a subscription business. So think of this a little bit like Tesla's FSD, but it's a subscription that you're getting from Cruise for their Super Cruise product. And let's not forget about Cruise, the autonomous driving company. They're gonna be relaunching in 2025. That's gonna be on a new Chevy Bolt platform. They're already working in a few cities around the US. They have a partnership with Uber. This is a business that could be worth well over $100 billion, maybe multiple hundreds of billions of dollars a decade from now. I think that's a phenomenal opportunity. But of course, there are risks as there are with any company. GM is an automaker, so they have traditional manufacturing risk. If demand drops for vehicles, that's gonna hit GM very hard. They also have risk associated with their financing business, GM Financial. That's the company that's gonna provide leases and loans for a lot of auto buyers. So if there's an increase in default, if there's a recession that happens, that can hit both the company's core business and its financing business. And of course, Cruise is a risk. So that growth opportunity that I talked about is not guaranteed to be a winner for GM. But my prediction is this is a company that is trading for the right price. You're getting a value stock with optionality for free. I mentioned the GM stock is up 95% over the past year. A huge part of that is the company's consistent cash flow and buybacks. 19% of shares outstanding have been bought back just in the past year, and there's gonna be under 1 billion shares outstanding in early 2025. So the stock is still trading for a price to earnings multiple under six. I think that's a phenomenal value and get the optionality of both electric vehicles and cruise with General Motors stock. So to recap, GM is a leader where it matters most in the auto business in big trucks and SUVs, it's trading for a value, and it has optionality with electric vehicles and autonomy. Now at The Motley Fool, your comments make us all smarter. So please comment with your own research and insights about General Motors and tell us what stock you wanna see next on Crunch Time. And of course, don't forget to check out fool.com slash invest to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you here next time.